today is the 14th of January. It is seven months on since the Grenfell Tower tragedy. Um, we are standing and assembling. We are going to march in silence, in solidarity with the survivors and those who have bereaved. Everyone here from the community has been affected in some way, shape or form. And we are going to keep marching until we eventually reach justice for the survivors and the people of this community of Grenfell Tower. I'm a local resident, I've lived in the area for 30 years now. Um, unfortunately, I was present on the night of the fire, um, which is a vision that I could never get out of my mind. Um, just a, a state of despair, shock, disbelief. Watching the building burn like that was very, very different. Um, in, in the initial stages, it was all about relief and help. How can we help our friends, our families, our neighbours, our brothers, our sisters, you know? Um, and as time has gone on, it's grown into more of a people power, if anything, you know, and I've really seen our community come together like words can describe. The council wanted to sacrifice this area to uh, construction companies. This is the struggle here and this is what has happened since then. You have had an almost progressive shock doctrine where people have been claiming land and claiming public space because it's that public space, whether it's the library, uh, which they conceded on off the back of Grenfell, whether it's the youth centre which they shut down and sold to the private school next door to it, whether it's the college that they sold off. This is about a war on public space within the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea.